Hello, my name is Brian Deal, and I serve as trombone artist faculty at the University of Southern Maine in Gorham. The purpose of this video is to share with students some insights into preparing and ultimately performing their Allstate videos due later this fall. While the video audition includes scales, as well as the etude piece, which is Scheherazade, and which we'll uncover later in the video, we will first be discussing the solo piece, which is the Bordoni Melodious Etudes number 32. This is one of my favorite pieces, and anytime you come to a new piece of music, you always want to discover what the form of the piece is, because if you can figure out the form, and if there are similarities between sections of the piece, you'll know how to interpret that and work on it and figure out if there, what the differences are and then what the material between those sections uh, functions as and how it works. So this piece has four major sections uh, from the very beginning to bar 16, bar 17 to 29, bar 30 to 53, and bar 54 to the very end. It might be helpful for you to mark that down in your parts as you practice this. Notice that the first one, bar 30 and bar 54, are all the same. So those would be A sections. Okay? Um, also, rhythm is supremely important always. Um, in this case, we don't want to rush the eighth notes. Since that's the, the most of the melody is eighth notes, um, we don't want to rush those, let them run. Um, nor do we really want to let them drag, but we'll just let them in a singing fashion. And we want to make sure that we hold the long ties in bar, the half note ties in bar, uh, what's that, 8, 37, and 61. We want to make sure and hold those full value, because coming out of that is the 16th note little figures. There can be a little touchy, and we want to make sure we're not late for that as well. Identifying and knowing your scales, obviously the key of this piece, which is one sharp, which is G major in this case. Um, and we have a nice run in bar 15 of a G major scale going up and at the very end as well. So it's helpful to know that scale. I get questions asked a lot about the grace note. Right off the bat, we have a grace note. And in this case, it makes sense to think of it as kind of a pre-sound or, you know, where the prominent weight is on the B natural, and it's just kind of a little -da 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 -da, kind of, so the real starting note is the B natural, which is part of the G major chord, which makes sense, and so we're starting, we, we know we're starting uh, in B major, uh, G major, I guess, yeah. Um, in bar 17, it's B flats, and it changes key through that passage, but then we're back in the, the following section. Uh, to G major. Um, I suggest also using some of the cues and some of the, the uh, substitute positions um, on the slide um, to help us. And in this case, the very second note of the piece and the very second note of the A section each time it uh, played in fifth position rather than first position because we get that kind of a clicky sound going in and out of the B, B uh, A sharp, which is the same as a B flat, uh, coming back and forth. It kind of, it's not quite as smooth as if you stay right on the slide. Right? Instead of... It's the same note, but we get a little bit better sense of flow. My favorite term, a piacere, which occurs in bars 28 and 29, means as you wish. It's Italian. It means as you wish. Slow down a little bit before you come out, uh, into the, the A theme again. Um, in bar 30. Bars 45 to 53 kind of serve as an interlude. So you notice we had the A section in bar 30, and then it goes into this kind of a, a interlude section before we get back in bar 54. So make sure those solid half notes are, are full length, solid, just kind of just play those notes and it's kind of a bridge from that previous section to the final section. Okay, so here is Melodious Etude number 32.
Scheherazade. This is the etude portion of the audition. And the four keys that I've come up with this piece, uh, it's a very kind of a low range piece for us on the trombone. We have to be uh, exceedingly rhythmic, we need to be exceedingly melodic and expressive all at the same time. Um, and so that makes it challenging for us, particularly in certain ranges. And if some of us don't have a trigger, we have to play them uh, sixth and seventh position. So we need to be able to get in and out of sixth and seventh position. So the four keys are getting the rhythm accurate with the dotted eighth and sixteenth note in the very first bar. One, two, and three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four. And so I practice uh, like counting through those. The ties, like in bar two, one, two, three, tie. Five, six, one, okay. So it's getting that, and the six, eight, lilt. The, the one, two, three, four, five, six. It's kind of a nice thing, and if you've, you've heard the real version of this, um, it wasn't written for trombone, but we can certainly play the melody. Um, but it, in the orchestra, it's a wonderful piece, so I hope you get a chance to listen to it. Um, please also notice uh, the dynamic changes in this piece. It starts piano, notice it goes to mezzo piano, which is up a level, and then back down to piano, following along all the way through. Um, we want to basically keep it interesting for people while you're playing um, and using dynamics as colors, like a, an artist would use colors in his painting, his or her painting. Um, also, uh, quick breaths. We don't have a lot of time to take a breath in this piece. Take a breath, insert on that tie a breath, and then you're in in time for the next uh, phrase to begin again on five six. So those are the the, the keys, um, and I can't emphasize that rhythm again is the most you know seriously important part. There is a another question people might have is in bar seven there is a a grace note, uh, two grace notes. Throw those grace notes in such that they don't upset the major structure of the bar. So. <sighs> something like that. So here is uh, a little bit of how this works. Um, please try to maintain the flow, take good breaths, keep a beautiful tone throughout, okay? Here is Scheherazade. <laughs> Thank you. 
Charizard. 